You having fun? You having fun? <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright guys, we're here. I went ahead and got started without you because I started early and, and let me tell you, I mean I've been, I've got about 30 minutes work done and I've spent about three and a half hours just looking for bolts and I still don't have all the bolts but I think I did find a fuel leak. I'll show you where the fuel leak is. I'm around here. Let me turn this light on here for you. You see that? Let me get my glasses. That is the, uh, those are the fuel lines I was showing you yesterday. Uh, see that? That's a little rubber o-ring. And it's all ate up. The other one's the same way. Oh, yeah. If not worse. Yeah. So I gotta find. He's got all kinds of stuff. I gotta find. I don't know if these two are them. They look a little big. I know these are not them. But I've gotta find them. I've gotta find the rest of the bolts. I'm missing two that go down into the intake. I'm missing one up here and a couple on the other side and I can't find them. I've been trying all day to find them bolts. I know where these go. I know where that one goes but uh, I don't know. I just I gotta, gotta find out where they're at and what's going on. There's two missing down here on that so they may be up here. So anyway, it's starting to look like an engine, finally. Uh, and then I got to figure out the bracketry for that thing, because the blower I had on mine, you know, sat up here. It was a wind blower. Uh, this is just uh, this is a Paxton uh, SN 93 supercharger but my yeah, mine sat right up here you know and then the carburetor is bolted on top of it had a big you know big white belt uh, so all right I'm gonna look for some more bolts looks like I'll probably be here tomorrow so uh, let me see if I can find some bolts hey guys I gotta tell you this uh, can you hear this in the background monkey told me last night she said why you ain't turn the air on so what air Dad put an air conditioner in that garage. I'm pretty sure he did. Didn't he? I said, hell, I don't know. I said, I didn't see one. Well, believe it or not, step behind there. You look through. There's that light. There is the air conditioner. And I've been out here since 9 o'clock. 9.30. And then this garage went my ass off. So, just thought I'd show that with you. It has nothing to do with the car. So, there's my helper dog. He crashed. I'm trying to work on this thing, and he's just. I got to step over him, but that's all right. He's my buddy. Uh, still haven't found all the bolts yet. Uh, I do have the tune port injection on it and this is on here but I got to tighten it up but I'm not sure where the other bolts are so I'm gonna have to keep looking and of course this is going to go on here that's the throttle that's shift down cable uh, all these wires got to get figured out and then once we, I got to adjust about the, the rocker arms yet. That's no big deal because I don't have this bolted on yet. Okay, so I'm just trying to find everything. 
so I don't think I'll have it going today because then you know I've got to time it I've got to put it in time and with that blower on there I don't know how I'm going to see the timing mark down in there but uh, I may have to get an app for monkey's laptop and run it that way and see what's going on but uh, I still can't find all the bolts um, so I'm not sure what's going on I think I've got them all for the supercharger I think but for everything else uh, the plenum nope I'm not sure where they're at I don't know how that got done it but uh, I'm just gonna keep looking so this is this is how far we've gotten so far so the other side is pretty well ready except for you know tightening everything up and I'm not going to tighten that other side you know and leave this side loose I want to tighten them all down you know around so that thing's not you know so the gaskets seal real real good you know because that's a three piece set and uh, sometimes if you don't get them right it'll, they'll suck air leak a little fuel but so that's where I'm at on it so far okay guys I'm done for today we're getting some making progress but I've got a lot of stuff I've got to repair that uh, you know I've got lines like uh, vacuum lines that are burnt burnt through that I have to uh, let me get your light on here see that rubber hose had been laying on the exhaust so it burnt through yeah I think I mentioned that that's been broke so I gotta fix that um, but it's coming along I still gotta find some bolts I'm still lacking bolts but once I uh, once I find the bolts I can start putting the supercharger and everything back on it and we'll fire it up and see if it's right um, but I'm seeing what I'm seeing right here guys for the gear heads this is a feeler gauge and it's set on 20 thousandths these are roller rockers you don't set these at 20 thousandths like that but you know it is what it is right I just gotta I'm gonna keep on keeping on so this is gonna end part one of repairing the supercharged Corvette supercharged and there's a supercharger right over there alright guys I'm going home I'm getting tired so and there was a fuel leak there's a fuel leak right there I gotta fix it so monkey's here now so we're gonna go home get something to eat I'm gonna get cleaned up and probably come back tomorrow and do a part two so if I can find the bolts I might be able to fire it up tomorrow um, providing I get the vacuum leaks fixed a vacuum leak can cause a vehicle to run lean when they run lean they run hot you don't want to run them aluminum headed engines hot like that so uh, I just want to make sure everything's up to par and we'll go from there um, maybe if he if he gets out he gets out of uh, gets out of the hospital and I think he's going into rehab and then once he gets out of there maybe we can take him for a ride and he's vet so all right guys thanks for watching that's the end of part one Shea Bear admit the man a legend I'm gone for now so thanks for watching again guys bye bye